Sage Forsaken here. And I'm back from Walmart. Once more, I've gone into the depths of hell to try and retrieve some core action figures. I was looking for the new figures, but they're not there. So what I do, I bought this. Kid Connection Military Adventure Playset. Chat me. I call you. Uh, this figure set, of course, only has one figure, so it's more, um, I guess he gets to take turns driving his helicopter and his vehicle. In other words, the people who put this out knew you weren't buying this for this figure. You weren't buying it for this figure, you were buying it for all these other little guys you got hanging out. And, uh, they know that you're going to put these other little guys in it, whether it's G.I. Joe or Core or somebody. Somebody who can actually turn their head and, like, bend their knee and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to open this up. Uh, it is, of course, a 10-piece set. Wow! There's only two pieces that we're really interested in. Though I will look at the guns and stuff, too. We're going to take this out of the box. And, of course, before I do that, just for your listening pleasure... Okay, so there's that. There's a sound effect. Okay, so here we're back. Uh, couldn't quite get it out of the box because, of course, zip ties are a thing. So if you're buying these cheaper toys, they make it almost impossible to get them out of the box. Because, I guess, if you're going to steal something, you steal the cheapest thing possible, right? Um, so we're using Lady Snippity Snip. Okay, we done. We now have a helicopter. I wonder if I'm going to break another pair of scissors doing this. Okay, and there we go. We now have a knockoff of the vamp. Now let's just look at the actual figure and accessories that he comes with. First, um, I've seen other people use these figure parts to uh, customize their core figures, uh, swapping out different legs and things. Um, I haven't personally done that, but these guns are ridiculously large for this size figure. However, since I buy Marvel Legends and other figures to fight them, um, I'll definitely probably use these for my other figures. I can see some bad guys running around with these size guns uh, on those 6 inch figures more so than I can see them with the core or G.I. Joe or anything like that. So the figure itself sorry, is taped in there for no good reason. Oh. Okay, the figure itself has like 5 points of articulation. You can turn the head. You can turn the head. His arm goes all the way around, but not up. Not out at all. And then, of course, it does have a bend at the elbow. He kicks that far forward. His leg goes this far back. And, of course, it bends at the knee. No ankle, uh, no pivots anywhere on the leg or arms as far as to pivot the wrist or anything of that nature. So they sculpt the figure with one hand this way so he can be holding a gun, one hand this way so he can be driving something or climbing something, uh, since they don't give you a hand that's turnable at all. This is pretty common with these Chatmay figures. Uh, as far as the sculpt, there's parts of it I really like, um, but the paint job and the fact that you can't really see half the sculpt, make it kind of weak, and there's no waist pivot, like you can't turn it to waist. This is all one piece. And there's the back of the figure for those who'd want to see that. I'm going to put this to the side for now. Okay, so looking at the helicopter, um, one thing that this helicopter has going for it that apparently the Corps has decided to stop doing is it actually has landing gear. It's ridiculous to me that a line of toys is being put out where the helicopter lands on its belly 
with no wheels or anything to speak of. But that's what the core is doing right now. So maybe I'll just reuse landing gear from other helicopters for that. It does have a gun down here. So it has a little gun. Um, and of course, it's single blade at the top. You could probably fit two figures in here, but they would have to be really close to each other. And there's no controls whatsoever. Um, there's no way for the figures to really hang off the side, except for they can, of course, maybe grab the side with their weird hand. Nope. Maybe stick a leg in here. Or hang off the landing gear. Something like that. Because that's... Oh, that actually works. So, um, there's no real seat or anything molded in there. It's, uh, basically the bare minimum to get a helicopter uh, as far as that goes. But even though it's the bare minimum to get a helicopter, they always have to put some sort of sound effect in here. So I don't know what this does. I don't see the button. But there's a battery compartment right here. It could be that other models of this helicopter had a sound effect. And they just took the sound effect out and had to cover the compartment up still. But there's no button. So I might take that apart to see if there's actually anything in there or not. So now we have a mystery. Awesome. <clears throat> now let's look at the Vamp alike. Of course, G.I. Joe had a vehicle that looked very similar to this called the Vamp. And much like G.I. Joe, uh, these guys have decided that it's okay for rockets to basically fly off and shoot fire down into their heads as they shoot their rockets off. Um, because that's how the G.I. Joe was. Um, of course, this will, of course, sit... Well, you know, you can get a core figure in there, two core figures, or G.I. Joe figures, or Star Wars figures, or whatever you have. Um, you know, it's not a bad little Jeep. Though, um, one thing I liked about the G.I. Joe version is on the back, there was a stand here where you have a plate to have someone sit so they could hang on to the back of the vehicle. Of course, that would also cause rocket fumes to blow their chest off, but... I don't know where the machine gun's coming from. There's no machine gun on this. That's awesome. Maybe that's the helicopter's machine gun. At least that makes sense. Okay, so, uh, like I said, these are pretty cool. I'd repaint them if I were to use them with my figures, typically. Just because, uh, and you get a lot for your value. It's only $5 for these two. Whereas if you were to buy a G.I. Joe Jeep of similar stature, it's $20, $30 probably. If they would still make a G.I. Joe Jeep, which they won't. So, uh, tell me what you think about this set from Chat May. This is available at your local Walmart under the uh, Kid Connection toy line. And of course... Thank you for liking and subscribing my videos, and enjoy.